please subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of the latest videos. Today we're covering, will Omicron variant derail Australia's economic recovery? Sage here for Kalkine Media. And while the Omicron variant has caused much stir across different parts of the globe, the Australian policymakers continue to debate whether its impact will be damper relative to the Delta variant. And the new variant has hit the country at a time that was strategically important for the economic revival, as the economy was just opening and businesses resumed operations. The new cases created a cloudy environment surrounding the nation's economic recovery. Federal authorities are trying to chart out a plan that lets them open the country even as the New South Wales cluster grew to 25 cases. For instance, the Queensland domestic border would see an earlier than expected opening on December 13th with certain protocols to be followed. However, not all states have resounded with the hopeful sentiment that the new variant would be milder than the previous ones. And some regions have decided that the new variant should not be tested and instead it is best to take preventive measures. For Australia, rising lockdowns and the imposition of the virus-related protocol has emerged with an additional burden of mass unrest evident throughout several demonstrations across the country. And amid this backlash from some individuals, Australians' vaccination rate stands at about 88% for these above 16-year-old people. And this could help the country build immunity against the new strain while putting the economy in less turmoil. Too early for preventive measures. Despite all the hysteria surrounding the mutating virus, authorities seemed to have given a relatively lukewarm reaction regarding the new strain, which has already become a global concern. And Treasurer Josh Frydenberg expressed his seemingly hopeful view on the matter, stating that the country's 2022 economic growth forecast would see an upward revision at the mid-year budget review. It can be assumed that the improved forecast does not factor in much of the impact of the Omicron variant. And Treasurer Frydenberg himself stated that it is too early to estimate the effects of the new outbreak. Notching up. Aussie's hopes. The Reserve Bank of Australia, or RBA, has recently shared an upbeat view on the economy's prospects while keeping the interest rate unchanged. The central bank does not expect Omicron to derail the country's economic recovery and foresees a return to the robust growth trajectory seen prior to recent lockdowns. Economic revival going strong. The Australian economy is going from strength to strength since the easing of virus restrictions. The first indication of an improving economy was the rise in business confidence, followed by slower price growth in the housing market, with the country nearing its inflation target. And subsequently, the country observed better than expected economic growth in the third quarter, with GDP contracting by 1.9 per cent, majorly due to the Delta variant outbreak. And these factors have put the country in a better position than it had been during the previous outbreaks. While these factors provide some respite from the growing uncertainty, the impact of the new variant cannot be ignored. Stock markets have been hit by the news surrounding the new variant and some experts appear to have a less rosy prediction for the future. Now, despite the opposing views regarding the severity of the virus, people stand united on the subject of the nation's resilience to power through new adversities. If you do like this information, please like, share, comment on the video below, subscribe to the channel. If you press that bell icon, you'll be notified when Kelkine has a new video. For more information and regular updates, do head to the website. It's kalkinemedia.com. My name's Sage for Kalkine Media.